Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are now watching Master Saiz. <laughs> and on today's show, I am going to show you what to do if um, your inks dry out. Like, if you live in a dry climate like New Mexico, uh, you accidentally leave your bottle cap off or whatever, and your ink dries out. And tattoo inks can get expensive. And well, they last a long time, so I can understand why, you know, ten dollars a bottle. You know, getting ten colors and cost you like a hundred bucks. But really, you just need the five basic seven colors or whatever. You don't have to go and buy all kinds of elaborate colors unless you don't know how to mix color. Um, I mix most of my own colors. So, this is what I'm going to show you today, how to uh, save your inks, because I used to go to tattoo parlors when I was a kid, and I used to ask them different things, like, how would you get your inks? And most of the tattoo parlors when I was growing up, they used to get their inks in a powder form, but nowadays they are already pre-mixed. Um, if you don't like, like, certain yellows, like, especially Starbright's yellows or other people's yellows can be a little thin, um, you can leave the cap a little bit loose for a few days and that'll thicken it up. Um, if you want to thin it out, like I'm going to show you today, this bottle right here, this bottle right here, this bottle right here, nigga, this bottle right here, yesterday, this bottle right here was all fucking hard. Like, and now it's like, I, I could use it again. You can hear it inside of there, like, like I'll even open it up and show you. I don't like doing this show without gloves, cause, so, so see, it's still good. Um, what you use is you can use alcohol, just 100% alcohol, 100%, <laughs> that's funny, you can, rubbing alcohol, you can use regular rubbing alcohol, um, or you can use what I like to use, and that's witch hazel, and it's got alcohol in it. But I like witch hazel better because it's for relief of minor uh, skin irritations due to minor scrapes and exit bites and stuff like that. And it's got 4% alcohol in it, so it's got alcohol in it, but it's also designed to make, you know, help your skin heal and, and help relieve that. You know what, I might start using a couple of drops of this stuff on paper towels when I use the white people. Okay, now check this one out. Here's um, some brown that I have. And as we can see, it's like really thick. Let's see, it's probably so thick. Let's see if it'll even pour out. So, okay. I know there's something in there because this bottle weighs more than it should if it was empty. So, it's so thick it won't even pour out. And I'll even shake it a little bit. Okay, I got one drop to fall out. It's really, really thick. You can see it's really thick. Now, what I'm going to do here is get some witch hazel, pour some of that into the bottle. I'll show you how much I pour in there. capsules, maybe like not even halfway, let's see inside there, okay, maybe like a little over a quarter, almost a third way up, screw on the top, and I'll hold the finger right there when you're shaking it, and also, there's another good thing to do is rinse it off before you start shaking. So shake it off under water like that. Yeah. Oh, man. 
that. So that's how you uh, save to your ink when they dry out. That's how you uh, save your inks when they dry out by master size. If you have any other comments or questions, throw it down on the box, throw a little thumbs up. Um, I don't know what else to say. Like I said, you could use uh, regular rubbing alcohol, but that would be the only other thing that I would use if I was you. And I don't, like I said, the witch hazel is better because when you're um, tattooing on them, you're not going to be like, the rubbing alcohol is going to obviously burn more because it's going to have more alcohol in it and it's alcohol fucking burns, man, and especially when you're, when you're putting it on a little tiny scraper, minor kind. Peace out. That's how you get her done by master size.